Blue Jays today, where we always got something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I am your host, Nicholas Blaylock. And I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And today, guys, we're going to be giving our 2022 season predictions on our sophomore player, Alec Manoa. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, use code TODAYJAYS to get discounts and deals on Monkey Knife Fight. All right, Nick, Alec Manoa. Great, great, great first year. Unexpected first year. We did not see that coming at all before yeah, the season began. Yeah, you know, before the season, guys, it was all about Nate Pearson. It was all about Simeon Woods Richardson. And it wasn't until a little bit through that season when Alec Manoa started popping off in the minor leagues and Nate Pearson was dealing with his injuries and Simeon Woods Richardson was in trades talks that we even started to look at Alec Manoa at all and then holy mother of God there was the diamond it was in the rough it was beautiful and as all of you know the season was pretty phenomenal last year for a rookie 3.22 ERA 111.2 innings pitched the guy finished with a 9-2 and win-loss record That's pretty and, nice. and I know and I yeah, understand I know, that yeah, it's like yeah. wins and losses and whatever they don't mean a whole lot of thing it's a team thing but what that tells me is like, hey, when you put this guy on the mound, you have a very good chance of winning a ball game. Absolutely. And Alec Manoa, uh, what I love most about Alec Manoa, besides all the numbers, is the fact that this guy pitches with an absolute bulldog mentality. Mm. This guy has absolute confidence out the wazoo. He is out to destroy everybody. And you know what? He can have that confidence because this guy's pitch arsenal, he, it's it's incredible. The slider, the sinker, the fastball, the changeup. He locates them all so well. Fastball, yeah. sinkers, in on the hands, sliders, changeups away. Like, it is so beautiful. And he does do all of them pretty consistently, guys. Like, there's yeah. not really one pitch that he has that he does way more than the others. It's like fastball, like 36% of the time. Well. But everything yeah. is distributed for pitch pitcher, which you love to see because, you know, one area of concern, and we'll touch on this in a little bit, you know, it's like getting figured out by the league. Getting right. figured out right, by the right, league. Right. And, and oftentimes you have pitchers come in, well, if they're only a two-pitch pitcher or a three-pitch pitcher, it's a lot easier for the league to figure you out than if you have more stuff like Alec Manoa has with four pretty good pitches. Yeah, I, I want to build off that, right? Because that's what that's what everybody's worried about. You know, there is a sophomore slump, you know, can the league figure them out? Can they make an adjustment? Well, honestly, like, again, I'm not a baseball player. But mm -hmm. if I'm looking at Alec Manoa... Do not change unless they change first. Because no, totally. what you did last year dominated. You do not do the well. Bellinger effect. Do not do the Bellinger effect no. where you literally change your entire MVP swing. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. This guy needs to keep doing what he does best, locating that slider down the way and the sinker in on the hands. Because that's how he works and that's how he gets batters out. So mm. don't change a damn thing and you should be dominant. If you start noticing they're sitting on pitches, maybe you go through a stretch where you're leaking the slider over the plate or yeah. the changeup over the plate. Well, now we have to start making an adjustment maybe we got to eliminate a pitch of that if it's not working early on in that game make those mid-game adjustments mm. but you got to stick to your plan Alec and you'll be great I think he's got a really good plan guys because in spring training this guy was phenomenal and I don't want to put too much weight on those spring training numbers because it is spring training like literally Brandon Woodruff I think gave up 15 runs in yeah. like 14 innings so it's like oh. we're gonna be putting like no bust. weight on this bust. Yeah, exactly yeah, bust yeah. right yeah. but Alec Manoa straight up had a 0 0.64 ERA and most often times pitchers get rocked really hard in spring training because they're just out there they're like throwing their pitchers just trying to find location i love to see that he kicked ass because it just reinforces what i'm already going to say which is he's going to have a pretty damn good year absolutely and dude like that's the thing is this guy kicks ass everywhere he goes doesn't matter about spring training doesn't matter about uh, minor league doesn't matter about college ball wherever he's playing yeah. he kicks ass right and I, that is there is no indication I think he's not going to kick ass next year. Yeah, that, so far, yeah. like, there's literally nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. And with that being said, what, what do you, you think Alec What do you got? Gonna, I you want you to go first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you go first. I think Alec Manoa is going to kick absolute mm. ass this year. Now, I had a higher projection, but I'm like, wait, that's Cy Young caliber. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't think he he could. He absolutely could be a Cy Young this year. Let me like We literally made a video on how he's a dark horse Cy Young candidate. Mm. I, I'm a full believer in that. Mm -hmm. However, to be a modest projection... Modest, <laughs> modest <laughs> for, yeah. for what his ceiling is. I think this guy's gonna kick ass. He's gonna pitch for a three eleven ERA. That is really, really good. He's gonna be Pretty up good. there in Cy Young votes. He's got a whip of one hundred five. He's gonna pitch one hundred and seventy eight innings pitch with one hundred and ninety six strikeouts. 
He's going to get Cy Young votes. He's going to be top five in the voting in the American League. Uh, hands down. I love it. I love wow. it. That, okay, that is a very good projection, and I would be very happy with it if he does that. I'm not quite as high. i got a 347 ERA, which I still think is going to be very good for a mm-hmm. second-year player. Mm-hmm. little bit of regression, really but still, it's like the league figures you out a tiny bit. I, I can see Alec Manoa. Th- honestly, th- this is my reasoning. I think that Alec Manoa is going to have like one month where he's bad. Right. Why is that? I don't know. I just I think I just have a feeling. It's like he's gonna have one month where he gets cold. He's gonna the numbers are gonna get inflated. He's gonna a couple bad starts. But then he's, he's gonna hurt. figure it out again. Maybe he's hurt. Yeah. I don't know. I just I think that you know that is just my my like uh, modest opinion on that. Something's gonna go wrong there. But he's gonna figure it out. It's gonna be no problem. Three forty seven ERA. He's gonna pitch for uh, what is he got right now? One hundred and eighty four innings pitched. Two hundred seven strikeouts to go along with that. And I think he's gonna get fourteen wins, nine losses. Still a very good season. So like. I'd be very happy with this if we got this from Alec. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And you, you said a bit of regression. I would say that's like pretty much equivalent of what he did last year, right? Because last year only pitched in 20 games, 111 innings pitch. So it's like, yeah, maybe he does have a little bumps down the road and, you know, cranks up to 340. Yeah. So I think Alec Manoa is going to be absolutely fine. And as our like three or four pitcher, like, okay, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, fourth. He's going to be pitching his first game against the New York Yankees on Monday, the mm-hmm. following Monday. So that is going to be game to If look he out does for. a. a season like like what i'm saying or like what you're saying Mm -hmm. does he kind of um rocket up the rankings of extensions uh in terms of like which who needs to be extended first like yeah exactly like is he now like Uh, is he kind of in that conversation of it's like bo and vlad where it's like we need to get this guy on an mm -hmm. extension like right now because his value is like literally skyrocketing I mean, we'd have to be after Bo and Vlad, of course, because okay. they're more urgent. But, yeah. like, yeah, I mean, I mean, you still have, after this season, you still have four years four of this guy. Four more seasons, so which is incredible, guys. It's not, like, urgent, urgent. Maybe mm-hmm. you start touching on the Arby years, but, like, oh, let's screw it. Let's skip the Arby and let's get him paid right away. Yeah, 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 I agree. Guys, let us know in the comments down below what you think Alec Manoa is going to do. Are we being completely unrealistic, or is he going to absolutely break out, win Cy Young, kick ass, just be, like, one of the best pitchers of the generation? I would love to hear it. Comment down below. Absolutely, guys. You Also, $3 about the become a patreon shout out and thank you to all of our current patreons you guys keep this ship going and you can call into the wine unwind thanks so much for watching and go chase go